Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video doing a full review of the Blazer ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. So, uh, very excited to run this ROM as it is one of my favorites that I have ran on my Epic 4G Touch. Uh, Phantom Hacker does a great job with his ROM, so be sure to check out this ROM. Anyways, I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I can link to that in the description of the video if you need to know how, so be sure to check that out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, I'm going to go to Menu, Settings, scroll down, go to About Device, and under About Device, under Build Number, you will see right there, Phantom's Blazer 1.2. It is based off the latest over-the-air update, LF9. So there is that. So showing you you are running the Blazor ROM, you can check that there under About Device. But uh, other than that though, I mean you do have a lot of modifications. It does have a pretty much a stock look. Inside your app drawer you have a lot of removed applications. A lot of the bloatware is gone, which I love. Um, so it's definitely de-bloated. Uh, you also, uh, it is de-dexed and it is pre-rooted so you will see super user in your app drawer there. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can use your Wi-Fi tether application found in the Play Store and you can have free tethering there. Otherwise though, as I said, it is got that stock look to it. Nothing out of the ordinary. Swipe away your notifications. All of that good ice cream sandwich based stuff. It does have TouchWiz launcher by default as you can tell. Go into our messaging application. We can send a text message. You'll see it comes with Samsung keypad and you also have uh, go to English US Android keyboard and it comes with the stock ice cream sandwich keyboard. So there you go. You can say hey there. How are you? And you've got your stock ICS keyboard. So that is uh, great to have. I love this keyboard. It's probably one of my favorites. So definitely uh, be sure to try it out if you have not. Glad that he also included that since I don't like the Samsung keypad anyway. That's nice to have. Does seem to be incredibly smooth, very stable, no issues whatsoever. You're not going to run into any bugs at all. It does have a uh, scrolling modification. He disabled the scrolling cache, so the scrolling should be very smooth, and it really is, as you can tell, no lag scrolling through, going through different pages, uh, going through your app drawer, no scrolling lag at all. I mean, it is so smooth. Battery life should be great as well. He did make battery tweaks. Of course, you can go to settings, and then display, and then scroll down. You can display battery percentage, so if you want to see what it's at, Mine's at 93% at the moment, but uh, I mean, obviously you can go through and check that if you'd like to see your battery percentage. Um, other than that though, we can also go through and talk about the reboot menu. So press and hold that power button and you'll see you get all your, basically your stock options, but when you press restart, you can go reboot, hot boot, download mode, or recovery. So it's great. You can quickly go into recovery mode without having to manually do it within this ROM or download mode, either one of them, which is great. Um, that's, that's really nice to have that extended reboot menu. Uh, otherwise, camera modifications, there actually are quite a bit. So there's some camera modifications. So you'll see I've got uh, my camera right here. Let's go ahead and take a picture. And you'll see it did not make a noise whatsoever. No noise. So he removed the camera sound out of this ROM, so you're not going to run into any issues with the camera making noise. You can also take a picture with volume down. So you'll see I press volume down and it takes a picture right away. You'll hear it beeping though. I believe that would be because you're using a volume key. So let's see if I can turn off the sound, go into my camera application and then press volume down and it doesn't. So if it's on vibrate, it's not going to make a noise using your volume button to take that picture, but if, you're, uh, no, if your volume is on, then it's going to make a noise when you take a picture. So just kind of keep that in mind if you do decide to use that volume key and you don't want that camera sound, otherwise you can just press the button and you're not going to get a sound because it is silent camera, which is great. So he also enhanced the audio, so audio should, be, should sound really great. I made some build prop tweaks, uh, disabled ads as well which is always nice of course within applications and such you really shouldn't see any ads there I love that up at the top you should see that uh, he removed AM PM from the status bar up there so you're gonna see you have more room up at the top because that is gone so nice that he got rid of that I love uh, not having that there because obviously usually you generally know if it is AM or PM out but other than that though you got your speed tweaks your battery tweaks everything running very smooth you got uh, your your widgets there um, it does not have a theme yet I'm sure in the future it will of course you've got uh, all your all your basic widgets um, your assist of lights 
you have different clocks, calendar, email, Gmail. I mean, you definitely left in a lot of widgets, which is great. You can try this negative colors widget right there. So tap on that and you'll see that uh, you got a bit of a theme going on then. If you tap on that negative colors, it kind of inverts everything. So kind of very cool there. Um, it's definitely something to try out. It's, it's kind of neat. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, everything's smooth. You got your stock browser. You've got, uh, I mean, pretty much stock everything, stock icons going on. Really no theme changes, um, but it, I mean, it is very smooth. Uh, definitely a ROM to check out. Battery life should definitely be better than stock. Uh, that's that's really about all I wanted to cover as I said I mean you got your stock theme your dialer I mean your applications no application icons out of the ordinary but you got your silent camera you got all the basically the great modifications needed in a ROM to make this phone even better with the silent camera I mean you get your battery tweaks no ads ICS keyboard remove AM PM um, it's very smooth battery life should be great uh, extended reboot menu you've got all those amazing tweaks within this ROM that uh, makes it one of the best ROMs on the Galaxy S3 at the moment. It's the first ROM that I installed myself, and I'm very pleased with it so far, so very glad I installed this ROM. Other than that, though, that's just about it. Be sure to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.